what's up guys welcome back in today's video we are going to show you how you can separate all your audio tracks so that you can have full independent control over your game audio your music your discord chats and your mic while you're streaming or even recording your gameplay but before we dive in i'll explain why is it important that you have to separate your audio so don't go anywhere stay tuned so we are back why is it important to separate your audio it is because when it comes to streaming or recording there will be a lot of background noise going on such as your game audio your discord chats your music your mic but you couldn't control them independently which might cause your streams or recording a trouble so to avoid that to happen in this video we're gonna show you on how to set up best part of separating your audio it is like i say editing flexibility but do not worry there is no other third party software that involved all of this can be just done by using streamlabs obs by the end of this video we're gonna show you how to actually separate the tracks that you recorded earlier and i'm gonna make an example to you a very simple easy way to actually separate the audio tracks there is some basic setting have to be done before we separate the audio track so come to this setting right here on the bottom left corner you'll see the setting icon so just click on it and you'll see this audio come to this audio and you'll see sample rate and channels so set up your desktop audio device and also your mic so once you've done set up come to this output right here so set your output mood from simple to advanced after that you'll see this uh, streaming recording audio and the audio track that's six track i'll just choose number one and i'll tell you why later and the recording i'll just turn it on this audio track for six track tracks two basically is for both purpose so i'm not really using it right now so after that go to the audio and you'll see six audio tracks and you can set the bit rate and of course your name so once you have done all this simple setting right here just click done after we have done the basic setting so the next thing we're gonna do is to add the source so just just look for this source and click on this plus icon there just click on it we have to look for application audio beta under the general sources so this application audio capture beta is basically to capture the specific window audio as such as your game or maybe your discord chat or even the music and any other audio that you want to capture you can just use this application you can control it independently so just click on it choose it and just add source i'm gonna add a new source instead so let's place it music so just click add source and you'll see this advanced audio setting and you come down on this uh, window sync offset and audio monitoring so the most important part that we have to take care of is this window so what does it do actually it is to capture the specific window or the music that you wanted to play using the other platform maybe spotify or maybe others so you have to look for the specific window that you want the music to be played before that and you'll see the music there's no bar there's no this green yellow red bar why because there's no window captured right now so now we have to set it let's say i'm gonna put it on just for testing so now you'll see we got this green bar yellow bar and the red bar appears when i play a music and you'll listen to it let's give it a try all right so now you're probably able to listen to music i'm playing right now and the best part is you can control it independently by how just adjust the volume or you can even mute your audio so that is just one of the audio source that you can add so you can add a total of six right here so one more thing that we're gonna do is i'm gonna make a new one instead let's make it game gaming let's make it gaming all right so let's just add source so same thing once you add it you'll see a window like this and you just look for the specific window that you want to capture specifically for game so that one is specifically for music so i got my discord mic all set up separately and there goes another important part after you have set up all this audio source do you still remember the stream track that we set earlier to number one now it came to place so see this number one is light on so which means this track one is all the audio source that will be heard by your viewers when you're streaming so track twos is for bots so there's another three four five six tracks right here it is for recording purpose you have to separate the tracks according to your music discord and game you always have to remember the number that you set 
So now you know the tracks for number 1, 2, 3 and total to 6 tracks. Do you still remember the music audio source that we added earlier? You'll see right here. And it is all turned on by default. So I got my microphone set it on track 3. My Discord on track 5. My game is on track 6. So my music, I want it to be track 4. So I'm gonna just turn it off. Just untake it. And you'll see my music right now is on track 4. How does it actually locate by this? So when you're editing your tracks, remember that the tracks number that you place according to audio source so let's say that you want your game sound to be shown you'll remember your game is on track 6 oh yeah that's another important thing that i have to mention which is if the window audio source is not captured or you can't see any green bar yellow bar red bar in the audio you just come to this mixer and you'll see the setting icon on the right side open advanced audio setting just open it and you'll see all the audio source that you have added so if your audio is not capturing or it's not showing just come to the audio source that you want and you'll see this game and you'll see this window so when you click on this window if there's no particular window that shows up according to what you want just restart your streamlabs and your problem will be solved so after we have recorded our footage or even done our streaming now we want to separate our audio tracks that we recorded earlier so i'm using CapCut at the moment so let's just import the file that you want and you'll see one or more clips contain multiple audio tracks so just click ok and after that just right click on the project and you'll see a track audio and also audio track so we got six track here is because that we have set up six tracks separately in streamlabs obs so music tracks that i'm using is actually track four so let's see we got track four and we're gonna extract the audio and you'll see right here there's a volume bar right there so this is where's my music and let's try to listen it So that is how you split your audio tracks using CapCut. But do let me know in the comment below if you found a better way or easier way to actually do it. A tip for all of you. Always double check your audio source. Is it working normally? Is the audio capturing normally? If it does not capturing, try to restart your Streamlabs and go under this advanced audio setting. Look for the audio source and change the window specific to which audio you want to capture. So always double check before you go live and recording your gameplay so that is how you separate your audio tracks using streamlabs obs so now that you got a very good audio setup the next thing you want to do is to record your face cams and video separately i highly recommend you look at my previous video on how to set up face cams and video and also if you found out my content is helpful do give this video a big thumbs up it really helps the channel out and please do not forget to subscribe it is totally free to do so by the way that's all for today's topic i'll see you all next time happy streaming happy recording and thanks for watching